Alrighty, Halloween Haunt starts today, well, or tomorrow, whenever you're watching this video, if you happen to watch it, watch it right now as it's uploaded, it is still until tomorrow. So Halloween Haunt starts Friday, September 23rd, um, and it runs Friday, Saturday, and I don't think it runs the first Sunday, but I could be incorrect. I don't think it runs the first Sunday. But um, Wonderland will only have five mazes this year. Uh, so they'll have the Crypt, the Ruins, Corn Stalkers, and Spirit Manor, which are all returning. And then Pandemonium, which is not actually a new maze, even though it's being marketed as a new maze. It's actually just an enhancement of a, a current maze, Blackout, that used to exist in the bottom of the mountain. So it's just gonna add some lights um, and vibrant colors in there, and it'll essentially be the same thing, just slightly upgraded. Um, so I'll put that to rest. No new mazes, really, just an upgrade. Um, outside of that, the reason Wonderland is going with less mazes is actually a Cedar Fair decision. A lot of people going and visiting Halloween Haunt tend to not be able to do all the mazes in a single night. When Wonderland explained the reasoning behind limiting the mazes, it actually kind of makes sense. So Wonderland and Cedar Fair are actually going to focus on adding um, scare zones over haunted houses. So scare zones are areas that you walk through. So people are able to do them versus haunted houses. So um, over the years, you'll see more scare zones added. You'll see uh, enhancement with entertainment, things that people can do without having to line up. And we got a little sneak peek of uh, Day of the Dead. Um, so Day of the Dead is a festival and parade new this year. And I honestly was a little nervous when I saw the kind of like description of it. Um, I, I was a little nervous and I'll explain why. The reason I was slightly nervous is the old Wonderland sometimes didn't excel at entertainment or pulling things off. But this new Wonderland has really impressed me. And I know a lot of people disagree with me, but I'm sorry. The new restaurant is a huge success and a huge hit. The new themed areas like Frontier Canada, huge success. And we got to see a little teaser of Day of the Dead Festival today. Thursday, there was an employee sneak peek and we got to see some of their little sneak peeks uh, of that and it looks amazing. The costume design is amazing. The vibe looks amazing. So I, I can already tell this is a huge hit. So I just wanna say anyone that had a, a, a say in Day of the Dead Festival or picking this entertainment, honestly, thank you. Uh, it is a family event. It is listed on the website as a family-friendly event. And I like the direction that Wonderland's heading with that. I like that Wonderland's becoming this place where you can do a multitude of things um, in a night. If I wanna go do haunted houses, I can go to Screamers. I can go to Fear Farm. Um, I can go to uh, the Scream Park in Kitchener as well at Bingham's. You know, there's many places to go do haunted houses now. So Wonderland's trying to uh, kind of like separate themselves and become more of a destination for the whole family. Yes, they're still gonna have those haunted houses and those scare zones that are, you know, scary and high thrill. And they're gonna have the the attractions like the roller coasters open as well. But on top of that, they're gonna have entertainment. So if you're craving something different, you got the entertainment. Um, the handcrafted beverages are also coming back and I, I didn't know this about this but those blood bags are actually handcrafted in the park by the food and beverage department so that was actually something really unique that I learned this year about those um, but outside of that uh, day of the dead festival is one of the only newer things coming uh, this season for entertainment but there will be more um, so in terms of what's new for Halloween haunt um, Day of the Dead Festival and Pandemonium are the only two new things. They um, did unfortunately get rid of the um, Sink the Jerk. Um, and the reason was it was a little too crass from what the park told us. So we did learn that unfortunately there were parents in 2022. I know you can't do comedy anymore. And I know that me even saying that's gonna piss off some of my viewers, but I do really hate the direction the world's heading in terms of the fact that Sink the Jerk can't even take place anymore because it's too crass. That was honestly one of the funniest things at uh, Halloween Haunt. Um, so it's, it's a shame that we're losing that in 2022. <laughs> 
Um, but nonetheless, that will not be coming or returning anytime soon. Um, Vampire Disco will have more dancers and be a slightly larger version. Love that it's coming back. It was honestly a huge success. Love everyone that was a part of Vampire Disco. It was such a vibe. So happy they're keeping that. Honestly, they could add a whole nother one as well. Um, Honestly, I think that's all in terms of what's new for Halloween Haunt, what to do. Um, my recommendation is visit Halloween Haunt the first two weekends. It is going to get absolutely insane as we head into October. So visit now. Book now. Visit now. Go now. Um, your 2023 gold passes will get you in this season. So definitely use your 2023 gold pass to get in. Your benefits will not work. So food plan, drink plan. Um, parking pass. So you have to buy a 2022 parking pass on your 2023 pass for it to work. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other advice I could possibly give you. Uh, you, you save your fast lanes for Halloween Haunt if you can't. Uh, unfortunately, they don't work. But a little tip or trick, if you get your fast lane in the morning, so on a Saturday or Sunday, I can't confirm if this is actually going to be the case this year. But in previous years, the fast lane color ban does not change for Halloween Haunt. Thus, it will work during Halloween Haunt, your morning fast lane ban. Um, so we'll see if they fix that or change that. But as of previous seasons, that has not changed. And um, that's pretty much it. Honestly, check out all the shows. Make sure you visit the five haunted houses. There are scare zones. All the scare zones are returning. Um, it does look like Wonderland has enhanced costume design and makeup as well. Uh, everything is looking absolutely amazing. I'm really excited. It seems like Cedar Fair... Um, instead of adding a bunch of new things, really focused on just enhancing the overall atmosphere. Oh, a big thing that I missed, the bags. So bags are not permitted at Halloween Haunt this season. Uh, they have to be super small, basically the size of like a little, just bigger than a wallet or like a little fanny pack. Very small. Um, Wonderland actually recommends not bringing a bag in the park at all. Um, so that's that for any of our media friends, uh, you can reach out to the park. You'll be permitted one visit, um, for anyone that does media or is on the media list of the park, reach out to the park. They will let you one day to bring in a bag, like camera gear and all that to film. Um, so just wanted to give that tidbit to any of you who are looking to film for Halloween Haunt for your YouTube channels or anything, uh, reach out to Grace Peacock and she can help set that up. Um, but outside of that, that's pretty much it. No diaper bags and nothing will be permitted. They're really strict. This is a security concern, um, because teenagers are absolutely out of control and the not letting bags in the park is going to save us from those teenagers. Um, to be honest, I completely disagree with the bag policy. Uh, I get it working at other parks, but Wonderland is one of those parks where it, like, literally the average person brings in a bag so I have a feeling this isn't gonna work out so well um, but hopefully everyone knows that you're not allowed to bring in a bag uh, I understand um, some of the reasoning so I'm not gonna bash the park for it but I, I, I kind of disagree um, but nonetheless everyone enjoy haunt it's gonna be absolutely amazing get those night rides it's gonna be a cold weekend guys so bring some warm um, clothes uh, and yeah uh, I'm glad I made this video late because I was honestly going to be really upset with them limiting even more haunted houses. But as I got to talk to the park, the decision making actually does make sense. And after seeing the Day of the Dead festival, I love the direction they're heading, to be honest. I love this family friendly uh, event. I think they could go even more family friendly, like go down a Dollywood vibe. I think that would do Wonderland wonders, really separate themselves from those other attractions, have those haunted houses still, but have like, I think even if any of you know Pumpkins After Dark, I think Wonderland should have some of that around the park as well. Really go all out for Halloween Haunt and Winterfest and really make yourself that have to go there um, kind of destination park. But it's really difficult for Wonderland because no matter what they do, they could literally have one haunted house. They're gonna sell out those last three weeks of haunt. It's gonna be absolutely crowded and insane no matter what they do. So um, again, stay safe everyone. Um, do not panic. Uh, I just wanna give some advice. If something is to happen, don't stampede. If you see a stampede happening, get out of the way. Um, stampedes can be really dangerous. Um, don't, please do not partake in a stampede. Don't do it for your safety. Run if there is actual danger, but understand a situation, get information and react accordingly and safely. Plan ahead. You do not want to get trampled by a stampede. Sometimes stampedes can be the more dangerous part of it. If any of you remember what happened last year, that is exactly that. So stay safe. Um, and, uh, may the odds be in all the workers' favor. 
please respect the workers, okay? Serious note, please respect the workers. If you see guests disrespecting workers, stand up for those workers. Um, they cannot defend themselves, um, and it, they can't even vocally defend themselves as well. Wonderland's really strict on that, and it is not fair some of the things that these teenagers do to these workers. If you go to Haunt, you are going there to get scared. You're not going there to try and scare the workers yourselves. Just have some respect. Um, and so, just... Anyways, have fun. It's Halloween Haunt. I'm super excited. See you guys at the park. Have a good one. Bye.